guys so it's been raining a ton lately and I've seen all these little tiny snails everywhere and it reminded me I am due to update you guys on the COSRX Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. I got this in Ulta a while ago and I shared it with you all in my last Shop With Me Ulta video so check that out. I review a lot of products in that video and go over several ingredients. Um, but you all were asking me for an update and a review of this product. I, as you can see, have used about, I don't know, 94% of it. And spoiler alert, I really don't have anything negative to say about it and I found that it is quite nice. This is by the K-Beauty brand CauseRx, as I alluded to. It is uh, cruelty-free and you can get it at Ulta for 22 bucks. Why would you want to use a product like this with snail filtrate? Well, we have Dr. Iglesias, a radiation oncologist to thank for that. He was uh, looking at snail filtrate, the secretion from snails, as uh, something that might have compounds that could be helpful for wound healing. And he identified that snail filtrate has a variety of antioxidants, glycosaminoglycans, as well as growth factors that are helpful for uh, skin regeneration. And he actually showed that in his patients who were suffering from radiation dermatitis, a really bad rash that kind of looks like a sunburn, uh, that applying snail filtrate helped their radiation dermatitis heal faster. You should know that in the collection and harvesting of snail filtrate, the snails are not harmed whatsoever. Uh, the filtrate is just collected, they excrete it anyways, and then it is filtered out uh, to remove any bad stuff that might be in it. And then the purity is confirmed through further testing before it is sold to you over the counter. So the snails are not harmed because if the snails are harmed or pissed off or sense fear, they will actually release harmful substances that you would not want to put on your skin. And a lot of people comment, well, don't snails secrete harmful substances? Yes, they can, but all of that is removed, so you don't have to worry about it. But don't go outside on a rainy day and collect snails and put them on your skin. Now, whenever we have an ingredient that seems promising for wound healing and regeneration, the cosmeceutical sharks come out to play and they wanna pump out a bazillion different products into the market and make all sorts of unsubstantiated claims. Therein came along this product called uh, Tensage by Biopel. And that is a snail filtrate serum. It's like 136 bucks. And that company sponsored a study that showed that individuals putting this serum on had improvement in some of the visible signs of photo aging, wrinkles, fine lines, uh, skin thickness, etc. Regardless, there is a large consumer demand for snail filtrate products. And whenever you have a consumer demand, that opens up the market. Not everyone wants to pay 136 bucks, but they want in on the snail. So herein, herein flies in the affordable dupe. Now, in contrast to the Biopel product, this has far fewer ingredients. I like that. The less stuff that you're using, the fewer the ingredients, the less chances there are for irritation and problems. Not only that, the Biopel product has gas, fragrance, I know, so I would never recommend that. This does not, that's great. But the Biopel product does have some other ingredients in it that are useful for uh, anti-aging purposes, if you will. Namely, soy has been shown to be helpful for skin brightening and for improving wrinkles and fine lines, as well as urea. Those are, those are two that come to mind in that product that might explain some of the findings in their study those ingredients are not in this. In addition to snail filtrate, however, this product also has sodium hyaluronate. At the end of the day, at least you are getting a hyaluronic acid serum, so I don't think it's a complete and total waste if the snail filtrate in this is not like that helpful. Uh, at any rate, you are, getting, you are getting some sodium hyaluronate in there, which is a humectant. But yeah, I, I used this for several months and actually really enjoyed it. I saw an improvement in skin hydration, uh, wrinkles and fine lines, discoloration, just overall skin smoothness and texture. I layered it underneath. Uh, first, I was using it alongside or underneath, excuse me, the CeraVe moisturizing cream. And then later I finished that and now I'm using the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factor plus HA. Both moisturizers worked well over this. Check the description box. I'll list some other moisturizers that you could use on top of this if you're wondering that have occlusive ingredients. 
it's really important to layer this underneath a moisturizer because the sodium hyaluronate, which is a humectant, will hold on to water on your skin, as will some of the compounds in the snail filtrate. But if you don't cover it with something that has an occlusive ingredient, like dimethicone, petrolatum, shea butter, then that water will just evaporate out of your skin and actually cause more dryness and irritation. So that's really imp an important point with this product as well as the Biopel one. I don't believe that has any occlusive ingredients in it either, but I could be wrong. The ingredient list is quite long. So yeah, that's, that's an important way to use this. But to be frank, I really could not tell you if this is any different than just using a hyaluronic acid serum, like the Hadalabo Hyaluronic Acid Lotion or the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Body Lotion I put underneath moisturizers. So yeah, I really, I can't tell you if this is that different. Uh, I, I did think that it was nice and easy to tolerate, but I don't know that you're necessarily getting much beyond what you would with a hyaluronic acid product. This is cruelty free, so you know you may be more compelled to choose it based on that. And very few ingredients overall. So I like it and I think it's a good product to consider if you want to entertain the idea of introducing snail into your routine. Is snail filtrate comedogenic or is it going to flare acne? Hey, honestly, we can never answer that question with any ingredient, pretty much. Uh, anything can aggravate someone's acne and there's no predictor on that or guarantee. Cosrx also has a snail mucin cream that I reviewed for you guys a long time ago and you may be wondering how it differs from this product. That product has dimethicone in it. So technically you can use that product on your face, ideally apply it while your skin is damp so the humectants in it will hold onto the water. That product like this has not only a snail but sodium hyaluronate, but it also has dimethicone so it'll seal that water in place. So technically you can use it by itself and you don't have to layer a moisturizer on on top. However, when I used it, in my experience, I found that I still needed to put on a heavier moisturizer on over it. And when I did that, I got this nice a little bit of lift and hydration, but if I didn't, then it kind of dried a little filmy. And honestly, the constitution of the ingredients as far as humectants and what and occlusives mirrors or reminds me of Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream, which also has dimethicone in it. And I too find that I have to layer that product underneath a heavier moisturizer, otherwise it just dries filmy. But that's not the case for everyone. Many people say that they are fine just using the Hydro Boost Gel Cream by itself, and many people say they're fine using the Causer X Snail All-in-One 92 cream by itself without layering anything on over it. If that works out for you, that's great. Less products overall. Now, as a follow-up to that, you may be wondering, well, one's got 92%, the cream's got 92% snail, and this has 96. Is 96 better than 92? Who knows? This is the issue with cosmeceuticals. There's no dose response curve here to go off of. Uh, one study used like 4% and another used 40%. So who knows if 92, 96, don't fall for the fallacy though that higher is better. We know that's not always the case. So in this case with snail filtrate, we really don't know the optimal percentage strength of the filtrate uh, in the product. So yeah, can't tell you if 92 versus 96, probably not that different. If you want to incorporate snail filtrate into your skincare routine, I definitely think this is a great product to consider. I would definitely recommend it over that fragrance containing $136 Biopel serum. Comment below though, those of you who use snail in your skincare routine, what products are you using? And if you've used Tensage, like how was it? Did it change your life? I need to know. Uh, what the deal is with Tensage. Uh, but yeah, I mean, they just add fragrance to stuff like this to create this like luxury exotic appeal to it. So you'd be like, ooh, I'm buying something luxurious at a high price point, it must be better, but it's really not. The problem with the fragrance in that product is that with the ongoing use, it's gonna increase your risk of irritation. You're gonna be more likely to develop an allergy to that and the fragrance as well as other ingredients that you're using either in that product, because they're a ton, or in other products that you're layering on top. Uh, and the other issue is that it causes vasodilation in the skin or red, redness. Uh, fragrance can do that for sure, as well as interact with ultraviolet light and cause rashes and whatnot. So yeah, fragrance is, I don't I mean, I know why they put that in there to sell it, but it's not, it's not a good ingredient in that product. Uh, but anyways, I hope this video was useful to you guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.